Hello and welcome to another Tekkit tutorial. Today I'm going to be looking at geothermal power, which, as you may have noticed in Tekkit, you have these lovely little volcanoes that spawn everywhere, usually a bit taller than this, but yeah, they still do the job. And this little spout of um, lava sticking out the top. Well, this lava isn't just useless, and you may as well just not block it off, because you can use it for power. So, let me show you my setup. Let's just get back up to my little house that's on top of the hill. And there we have it. There in the middle we have our geothermal generator hooked up to the rest of our wires. We have two glass storage containers either side that holds all the lava. And then we have the site tubes and that going in, going in where the lava will go in. And then at the bottom just where we're going to pump out and go into the generator to create power. In this generator you can actually just put a bucket of lava in there as well and that'll work but it's more efficient to just keep like a pump of lava flowing from a generator and a pump so now I'll show you how to make one of these okay so a geothermal generator there's your recipe there so add everything together like just like that okay for this you need 10 refined iron 8 tin 8 cobblestone 4 glass 1 copper cable and 2 redstone dust there's your trusty RE battery recipe throw that together with a machine block add in a furnace and then you will get that generator which you should know by now if you've been watching the rest of the series but there it is, just in case you need it. There's your empty cell, it's quite efficient, you get 16 for 4 tin. And there's your refined iron as well, just in case you need that, just in case you've forgotten how to make that. And there's your copper cable as well, which you should know as well by now. Okay, so as usual, if you need this page, pause it now. Alright, ready? Right, we're moving on. So, this is a setup that I've used on another volcano that's nearby. And as you can see, what I've got in the middle there, that is a pump. You can use that to bump liquids out, so you can use that for water and oil as well. Um, then I've got waterproof cobblestone pipe on top, and then a teleport pipe on top of that. The teleport pipe will link up to any other pipes on the same frequency, which I'll explain later, and send the liquid straight to where that is. You can use them for pretty much anything. Just remember, if it's like liquids or anything, it's got to be waterproof. Then on the outside, I've got redstone engines to power it. I find that redstone engines are powerful enough. Otherwise, sometimes you need like steam ones or combustion ones. But now nah, redstone's perfectly fine, just with a lever, and it's the safest as well. And then just I've built that on top of some just iron staff scaffolding. It just makes it look a little bit nicer than just like cobblestone or anything. And then on the inside there, you can just about see the little tube that's gone down into the middle of the volcano. So that's my setup. So I'm going to show you how to make all of these parts now, apart from the pipes. They'll come a little bit later. So I'm going to show you how to make the pump and the redstone engines now and set it up. Okay, so here we go. The pump recipe. First you need to make a mining well and a glass tank. For this you need four sticks, four cobblestone, ten iron ingots, one redstone dust, one iron pickaxe and eight glass. Okay, so there's your wooden cog. And you make that together with a stone to make a stone cog. Then you make that to make an iron cog. And then you throw it all together to make a mining well, some iron, a iron pickaxe and some redstone. Okay, so you also need your tank. A tank is just eight glass around the outside of the crafting bench. Throw off both of them together to make the pump. Alright, now to power it, you need a redstone engine. Okay, I know this is a lot, but bear with me. Now you need six wooden planks, four cobblestone, eight sticks, one iron ingot, one redstone dust and one glass. Okay, so there's your wooden cog again. And then I also need to make a piston. Throw them together with some wooden glass to make a redstone engine. Make as many of them as you need. Okay, you also need something to power it. So there's your leather and redstone torch. Iron pickaxe recipe if you need it. Pause it now because we're moving on. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to find your volcano and all your lava, you might want to store everything that's valuable first that you don't need just in case you fall in because I know it'll be a pain to lose all these materials that you've used but it's better than losing everything else as well okay so what you want to do is you want to find the central spout where the actual central of the volcano is best thing to do is just dig down see there you've got a layer of lava underneath there as well so that is your central spout so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build some scaffold around just so we've got a little bit of a building platform. Scaffolding doesn't go very far and you can't build it to the side. So just remember to just be careful. Okay, right. 
and need you need to keep this above the lava shaft like so let's get rid of that one there okay then so that's the pump put down then you want redstone engines you can use one but I like to use four just around each side you'll find that the pump side will stick on so keep it like that you only need two levers so one at one side one at the other that'll turn them all on then you want to place your waterproof pipe on top and then you want your teleport pipe on top of that so then you need to set your frequency so I'm on 4 then I'm connected just make sure that's set right okay and that's your setup that's as easy as easiest pie to set up just turn the pumps on and then just wait for it to work the redstone engines are most effective when they reach orange but until then they'll just pump slowly but they'll just work the way up and up and they shouldn't explode so yeah that is your basic setup I'll explain to you about the pipes now just get back up there you may see the lava starting to come into the tanks for us to do this as well. Okay, so my setup up here. What we have, so you can see the lava coming through. Um, what we have here is we have the teleport pipes, which are set to receive everything that I have pumped, that I'm pumping in from all over on the same frequency. And then I've got two glass tanks here, which is where the lava will be stored. And underneath here, I have a wooden waterproof pipe, which is used to pump things out of a container, connected to just a waterproof cobblestone pipe, which just goes into the bottom of the generator there. So if I were to turn on these switches, where I've got redstone pumps against the um, against the red, against the wooden pipes, just turn that on, and it'll pump in, and it lights up because it's filling up and it's charging. underneath. See, it's just connected. Yes, that should be providing power. See, there you go, it's charging up. Once that's fully charged, then you'll be getting power from it. So now I'll explain how to make all these pipes. So keep watching. Ah, making pipes is expensive. First you need to start off your cactus, cook your cactus to get some green dye. Okay, then you put it in your crafting bench to get waterproofing. Right. Now you need lots and lots of stuff. I'm going to tell you the ingredients that you need. You can work out the amount that you need, okay? Because it completely de changes from like setup to setup. It's cactus, wooden planks, sticks, cobblestone, diamonds, glass, iron ingots and gold ingots okay so your wooden pipe is made with one piece of glass and two pieces of wood put it together with a piece of waterproofing and that will waterproof it cobblestone pipes are made exactly the same just a piece of cobblestone instead apart from you get more cobblestone pipes you need more waterproofing for teleport pipes you need all the cogs all the way up you need two of your diamond cogs so there's your recipes for all the cogs now your normal teleport pipe is like that with a piece of glass you get eight so it's not too bad I guess and then you also waterproof it just the normal way with a piece of waterproofing in the top okay you can just pipe it back normally they're very expensive but it just saves having a lot of nasty pipes all across the landscape if you need this pause it now okay so now I'll explain how to actually use these teleport pipes what you need to do is you need two set up you need one that you're pumping from and one that's g that you're receiving in. Okay, so say this one here is the one that I'm pumping in. Okay, what you need to do is you need to right click it, not with another pipe. You need to right click it, and then you get this option here. It says frequency zero, connect to pipes zero. Your frequency is changed using these numbers all the way along here. You just set that to any unique number you want. So I'm going to set it to 31, I think. Okay. And then can receive is set to false. You click switch to change this. From the one that you're pumping from, which in your case will be from the volcano, it needs to be false because you are pumping things out of the volcano. You don't want it receiving things. Okay, so then you just click escape to come off that. And then go to your other pipe. And see, as you can see, this one's currently set to frequency 4 and there's three connected pipes. 
what you do is I need to change this to the same frequency which was 31 let's go up to 34, 33, 32, 31 there we go, connector pipes 1 and then because you want things that are being pumped out of the volcano to go into this tank you need to change the can received to true ok, that's just how it works so once that's set then anything that's pumped from this one which is the volcano will go into this transport pipe and it just doesn't leave a mess of like pipes going all across the landscape and to be honest would you really want to ruin this landscape I picked this place for a reason it's really pretty I don't want pipes going all over it I'm already ruining it by draining like all the no, like, all the volcanoes there's a nice oil spill down there and I've got all these unsightly like wind farms and everything all on the roof but yeah that is how you use transport pipes and that is just how you set up a geothermal generator so give it a try yourself and hopefully this has helped you solve some of your power needs and maybe explained why there's volcanoes in the world okay so tune in next time for another tech it tutorial bye bye